Hey guys! What's up? Alpha Lion Simba here, and welcome to part 12 of sentencing Disney villains for their crimes. As always, I am your judge, jury, and executioner. And now, let's summon our bailiff, counselor, and prosecution lawyer, Jiminy Cricket. Thank you very much, Alpha Lion Simba. As always, I'm here to help you. Thanks, Jiminy. And this time, we're venturing further into the 2000s because in this session, we're sentencing the villains from Fantasia 2000, The Emperor's New Groove, and Atlantis, The Lost Empire. So, with no further ado, court is now officially in session. Well, it's time to take another trip to the concert hall, because our first film for the week is Fantasia 2000. And our first villain to stand trial this week is the Jack in the Box from the Steadfast Tin Soldier segment. Now, firstly, he vied for the affections of the ballerina doll and even trapped her and made more advances on her, making him guilty of sexual harassment. Yup, and we can add attempted murder to his docket because he tried to kill the titular Steadfast Tin Soldier to win the ballerina. And so therefore, I sentence the Jack in the Box to life in prison without parole. Up next is the Firebird from the Firebird Suite segment. Well, he is the spirit of fire and he burns down the entire forest for his role in the segment which makes him guilty of arson. Yup, and during this time, he also pursues and tries to kill the spring sprite, thus making the firebird guilty of attempted murder. What do you think the verdict should be, Jiminy? Well, uh, I don't think any prison time would do because he'd end up destroying his own cell. Good point. So, therefore, I sentence the Firebird to the death penalty and the execution manner being a rainstorm. Bah! Boom, baby! Our next film in this week's docket is The Emperor's New Groove. And now, it's Yzma's turn to stand trial for her crimes. Simple, Yzma. It's your turn to stand trial for your crimes. Let's start with the fact that at first you were meddling with Cusco's affairs and you were trying to run the kingdom behind his back, despite being his advisor, which gets you one charge of treason. And later, you plotted to kill Cusco which adds more to your treason charge and gets you a charge of attempted murder. It is no concern of mine if uh, the kitty I... What was the charge again? Two counts of treason and attempted murder. Uh, he really should have thought of that before he had me fired. You wouldn't have been fired to begin with if you weren't meddling with his affairs. <clears throat> Moving on, your laboratory is filled with dozens of transformation potions, which can essentially be Cusco's Empire's equivalent to drugs, so I'll be giving you a charge of possession of controlled substances, and it's interesting that you mentioned that you were a kitty during your crime spree, 
because you attack both Cusco and Pacha, which of course will get you charged with assault and battery charges. And for all that, Yzma, you're going to be getting a pretty hefty sentence. You can't get rid of me that easily. Who do you think you are, Your Honor? Silence! I am the judge in this courtroom, and I am going to sentence you as I see it fit. Object, Your Honor! Sustained, Mr. Cricket. Now, Yzma, I reiterate, I am going to sentence you in whatever way I see fit. The way I don't care. His Honor is right. You need to have a hefty sentence for your crimes against Cusco. I did it. I tried to kill Cusco. Do you want to know something else? I never liked Krug's spinach puffs. Never. That does it, Yzma. I have no alternative but to sentence you to 40 years in prison without parole. Oh, and one more little thing. His Honor has decided that Kronk will be your cook while you're in prison. Overruled. I think having to eat those spinach puffs while you're in prison seems pretty fitting. Besides, I like them myself. So do I. Take her away, Bruton. Yes, Your Honor. Come on, Yzma. Off to your cell. Unless you got a death wish, you'd better get moving! And for the record, Yzma, I've always hated your fashion. It's so 80s. Sadly, Kronk, it's your turn to stand trial, too. Well, Kronk, you were Yzma's main helper, and that's your only charge, and that is aiding and abetting. Well, in my defense, uh... Yzma gets a new model every year, and I really didn't agree with her plans. Very good points, Kronk. And, like Bruton, even while you were under Yzma's servitude, you never actually committed any legitimate crimes. And so, therefore, you are pardoned. Oh, thank you! Thank you so much, Your Honor. You're welcome, Kronk. And who knows? Maybe you feeding them spinach puffs to Yzma during her sentence, that would also make for some good community service. Now it's time to take a voyage to a place that's said to exist only in legends because our last film in this week's docket is Atlantis. The Lost Empire. And so, we shall sentence Commander Lyle Tiberius Rourke. Now, at first glance, Rourke might seem like a pragmatic gentleman, but beneath that exterior is a greedy, ruthless mercenary. Let's start with the fact that he kidnapped Princess Kida after she became one with the crystal and wanted to sell it for money, regardless of what would happen to the natives. This makes Rourke guilty of kidnapping, since he kidnapped a member of the royal family. Not to mention, while trying to learn the whereabouts of the crystal from the king, he fatally punched him in the chest, hitting him square on the heart, which caused internal bleeding. 
giving Rourke a major charge of murder. And after getting his hands on the crystal, he blew up the bridge that was leading to Atlantis, thus making him guilty of destruction of property. And in the climax, when Milo and friends came to rescue Kida, Rourke grabbed an axe and tried to kill Milo, getting him a charge of attempted murder. With all of this, I think Rourke is deserving of nothing less than the death penalty, with the execution manner being the electric chair. Our final villain to stand trial for this week is Helga Sinclair. Since she was Rourke's lieutenant, that's automatically a charge of aiding and abetting. And she also took part in Kida's kidnapping because she held her hostage while interrogating the king. Yep, so she too is guilty of kidnapping. And for all this, I sentence Miss Sinclair to 18 years in the slammer without parole. Well, that was it. Part 12 of Sentencing Disney Villains for Their Crimes. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Please check out my other sessions and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'd like to thank Jiminy for his help. Oh, it's nothing, really. Simply a pleasure. And stay tuned for next week. But in the meantime, this session of court is now adjourned.